Well, you know, in, in my opinion, looking at the way we've seen teams perform in the past, I mean, you know, everything gets better and better every year. But there are some things that we see that just happen time and time again. We get far too many teams that roll up to Silverstone and they've still got a box of bits that, that they're calling a car. And as they go through the first few days, they spend too much time trying to assemble, prepare the car, get it through scrutineering and then hopefully get it into the competition. You know, it's all about planning, it's all about project management and getting ready for this. You know, I'd like to see all the teams at least get a car ready four weeks, a month before Formula Student starts. So at least they've got a running car, at least they've had some time to do some testing. You know, and the difference it will make in their performance in the competition is huge, absolutely huge. Planning in advance is key. Uh, carefully managing your, your scope of the project and not biting off more than you can chew. Um, it's really important for the teams to uh, carefully select what their key objectives are for the car and also for the static events that they have to prepare for um, and make sure that they have the resources, be it the, the budget, the people, the expertise to be able to meet those objectives. It's not just about engineering, it's not just about technical uh, things. It's also about the softer skills, project management, working as a team, you know, and meeting deadlines. Actually getting to the point where you can achieve a deadline you know, and, and achieve not just the timing, but also what you have to deliver at that particular point in time. It's ever so important. So, you know, doing it in Formula Student means that you can then take those skills that you've learned through that into all other aspects as well, into your coursework and then obviously into your job when you, when you actually go out into industry or academia, wherever you're going. As engineers, uh, a lot of people actually end up being effectively mini project managers of their, their parts that they're engineering. So they need to help design it, they need to test it, validate it, make sure it goes through to production. It's a, a long life cycle and it should be treated as a, a project really in itself. Um, I think uh, I would always reiterate that you've, you've got to finish the events. Um, if you can finish the endurance and, and, and all the dynamic events and compete in all the static events, uh, you don't need to be the best at everything to get a really good finishing position. So take that away, you know, make sure your car's reliable, do plenty of testing, uh, project man manage your team so you've got uh, time to test the car and find out all its bugs and little quirks um, and really then you, know, you can thrive at the event so you're not learning about your car at the event, you're, you're using it as it was designed to be used. If you take that as the day that you have to perform and you then work your plan backwards and say I gotta have a completely finished prepared and tested car standing on its wheels there knowing that when you press the button it will work well then your plan is going to have a good chance of producing a car that on the day will be a competitor that's you know really really going to be shining in there. When you look at the scoring that we have from last year and that's that's available on the internet you can just go to the former student website and, and uh, you can see that and you look at the range and look at how the winning teams who do really well score the points you know you need to have a strategy to do this, to achieve that goal. So you need to almost open the exam paper and look at which points you get for which question you know, and do the same with Formula Student so that you plan your time and your effort to score the maximum points. And I think a lot of teams, don't, it sort of slips them by. They just focus on the car, building the car and having a bit of fun and going to race it. It's a competition. There's a thousand points to be won. You, know, you score the most, you're going to win it. You know, if you score over 560, um, you're in the top 20.